Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at one of the effects versions of the plugins, specifically Cypher, and we're going to take a look at what we can do passing audio through Cypher's sample and hold oscillator functions. I've got a project here in live with a simple drum loop on an audio channel. And I'm going to take the Cypher effects plugin and I'm going to apply it to our drum loop like that. And I've got a second channel here in my project, a MIDI channel. This is taking MIDI from my keyboard controller and I'm going to set it up so it passes it through to the Cypher FX plugin. The Cypher FX plugin allows you to pass audio through its shapers, filters and amplifier section. The audio appears at Oscillator 1's noise input source. We have to make sure that the pink noise button is off. Now if I play my loop in live, you won't hear anything and this is because just like in the normal synth version I have to play a key in order to hear anything. So if I play a key on my keyboard, we'll hear the loop. Now in order to make this easier so I don't have to keep the finger on the key, I'm going to enable the hold button and the loop will keep playing. Right, so let's take a look at what's happening. The external input is coming in through the noise source on oscillator 1. If I reduce the gain on oscillator 1, the drum loop disappears. I'm going to disable the filter going to look at oscillator 3 because this is where the fun happens. First of all, if I put up the gain of oscillator 3, you'll hear the normal oscillator. But if I pull this down to the sample and hold side, what you'll hear is you'll hear a sample and hold function from oscillator 3 applied to oscillator 1, which is our drum input. If I take oscillator 1 out of the mix, you'll hear the exact effect. We can change the pitch of the oscillator as normal using the scale knob. And because oscillator 3 is still a normal oscillator, we can play it using my MIDI keyboard. And of course we can apply all the usual modulation functions. Let's apply some of LFO2 pitch. then let's mix back in our original drum loop. And that's how you use Cypher's sample and hold functions on external audio.